were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Cancer. It's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Doing a collective reading and answering your questions. So off camera, when I um, was meditating for you, I so it was like I saw like, um, I guess it, it could be a man, but a figure, uh, his, his chest, started to have like a diamond on it and then it was going up and then it looked like scales and then it said diamond back so I don't know maybe you have a, a diamond back uh, rattlesnake um, and then I immediately heard I want my diamond back so I don't know somebody you've given someone a diamond or they gave you a diamond somebody wants it back somebody's being petty I want it back or maybe it's not petty um, I know with engagement rings if you give an engagement ring, the marriage doesn't happen. You know, the guy can't ask for the ring back, you know, um, legally, you know. Um, so somebody wants their diamond back or there's a diamond back rattlesnake. Maybe you caught one, you have one, you want one. Um, somebody's being like a snake, okay, because it, the figure started to turn into a snake, like scales, like it started to go from his neck and then up to his face. So I don't know, somebody is... Um, you know, trying to shed skin, be like a snake, be, you know, slither, sly, conniving, uh, trickery. I don't know. Let's see what's going on for cancer. What is happening for the cancer? Let me know how the diamond back um, resonates with you down in the comment section. Okay. Whoa. Can't make it up. Seven of swords straight out the gate. So somebody's trying to be deceptive, masquerade-like. I'm trying to masquerade like I'm a real nice person or a person when I'm really a snake. I'm really a diamondback rattlesnake. And when I get ready to bite or to strike, I'm going to start rattling. Um, somebody could be a live wire, okay? When they get ready to strike, when they re get ready to turn up, uh, you know, they get, they just go, go in, go off, you know? Seven of Swords, this is somebody acting also, acting like... Yeah, I want a relationship where they really know deep down inside. They're the lone wolf. They'll leave you holding the bag. Maybe the bag of tears, too. They'll leave you hurt. This is somebody who will act like they want or act like it is or act like it can be. But it's only out of way of deception, trying to swindle, sway, trick, manipulate. It could be you, Cancer. You could be dealing with somebody like this. This is... um. Aquarius energy, um, last deacon Aquarius. So the third deacon Aquarius, so this will be like February, late February Aquarius going into Pisces season. Um, this is somebody lying by omission also. 
This could be in your friend group too. This could be someone uh, jealous, a liar, deceptive, trying to deceive, trick you. This could be loss of friend. Like you need to lose this friend because this ain't a friend. This is um, this is a um, what's it called? You know, false friend or um, frenemy. Yeah, the seven swords talks about frenemies. Justice card could be with a Libra. If it's not a Libra, there's somebody lying to you. They're just telling lies, okay? They're outright lies. They're outrageous lies. It could be a Libra, especially when Libra is not in their higher self, higher frequency. When they're in high frequency, the Justice card talks about honesty. Um, it talks about uh, fairness, uh, treating people honest and fair. But if you're in a lower vibration, with these two cards coming out, they talk about somebody in lower vibration. They're a liar. They they're dishonest. Uh, they're trying to masquerade like like they really want the relationship, but they really want to be single. Somebody is a, a complete actor here. They're putting on a front, putting up a front. Um, yeah, this is what's going on here. It could even be in terms of sexuality. All right. So oh, these cards when they come out, four of cups and the nine of swords. There's somebody here got cancer showing up you cancer you could be in fear that this is over or that it's going to be over that is dying you may be the only one holding this relationship together um you need to go in meditation and, and really figure out what the cards are trying to tell you oh, i said what the cards are trying. maybe you have your own cards you know you need to go into meditation and figure out uh what the universe is trying to tell you what your god is trying to you know relate to you your spirit guides um you need to come away from yourself also stop you know um i heard disorienting yourself stop uh thinking that it's all about self or it's something that you could have done or you need to do no this could be somebody's character you need to ex this is acceptance nine of swords you need to, you're not sleeping well you're thinking about how the fact it could be over you're in fear complete fear of losing or or being at a loss some of you have night shift jobs your your schedule is all messed up the sleep patterns are messed up you could have pain physical pain in your body you could be eating the wrong things there could be a sharp pains in your body uh there's a this could be blood work a need for blood work also um this could be a need for exercise again meditation taking it slow somebody is um at a place where uh what is going on here okay nine of pentacles Somebody's fear of being being single, not being chosen, um, being rejected, having resentment, remorse for something that they've done, or then now being rejected. It could be either way. Get in where you fit in, Cancer. The Nine of Pentacles, there's like a perfect person who's not really wanting the relationship not really wanting an intimate relationship they don't want to be close or they're just not open and their heart space is closed up um all they have to give is maybe you know some fun times some good words and maybe some laughs and then they're moving on or they're okay with being by themselves um this is somebody who studies spirituality this is somebody who is abundant they have more than they need more than enough therefore they're not finding you know companionship to be number one um, high they don't find it that it's high on the totem pole it's not high on their list you're dealing with a Libra definitely so the three of swords it's like maybe somebody is feeling like their their words are being misinterpreted there's misrepresentation of what they really want there's lack of communication because it always turns into miscommunication like I didn't mean to say that or I didn't mean that or you're taking this the wrong way. Somebody's like, let's just stop communicating because it's too much. It always turns to um, argument, heartbreak, separation, isolation. You alienate me, I alienate you. Sorrow altogether. Um, this could even be a third party stirring up trouble within a connection. Therefore, somebody feels kind of indifferent to the connection right now. The Knight of Pentacles. It's like somebody is just willing to make it work. They're just unmovable. They're just stubborn. They like an ox, you know, um, they can see the writing on the wall, but they're not moving. They're un unwilling to move. This could be Taurus. This could be 
um, Aries, okay? Um, yeah, they're just being reliable. Like, they just rely on this relationship, on having this connection. The King of Swords definitely could be um, a Libra. Uh, the Tower. All of a sudden, the King of Swords uses his authority to speak or to act or to do something strategic. His military expertise, his ambition causes the tower. What is this about? The queen of pentacles. Somebody is going, somebody is stuck on somebody, even though this person is not even paying attention to this person, doesn't want to give attention, doesn't want to talk to, doesn't want to do. It's just like two people are not on the same wavelength. Somebody wants a relationship. Somebody wants to be the bachelor. I don't know. They, maybe they signed up for the show, The Bachelor. I don't know. Somebody wants to be the eternal bachelor. They want the relationship on their terms. They want it like with the nine of pentacles. Like we can have fun. We can hang out. We can do this. But then I want to go home or I don't want to have obligation to you. I don't want to be reliable to you. And the knight, uh, in the knight of pentacles in the queen of pentacles, like I want to nurture this relationship. I want you to be reliable and accountable. I want to be reliable and accountable. I want to be in a more of a commitment with you. And somebody is just like both parties are not on the same wavelength. They don't want the same thing. And so it causes for friction. It causes for maybe breakups or miscommunication of what I said. I ain't really mean that. I just, I just said, I'm just, I don't know what I want at this point. It's just like somebody's confused. Okay. What is the outcome here for cancer? What is the outcome here for cancer? Um, hang man. So you're hanging around perspective change. You need to look at something from the other way around. Okay. You need to realize or ask yourself, why haven't I had what I really want? What part are you playing in your destiny in um, putting yourself on hold or hanging around or not willing to sacrifice something, um, sacrifice one part of your life, a person, place, a thing, Knight of Wands, um, instigation, maybe go after what it is you want. Um, this could be charming someone or using your charm uh, to bring back or to get what you want or to get opportunity or to open the door. What else is the outcome here? This is 20%. Leo, 20% Cancer, Ace of Cups. So it looks like um, a false start with no progression. Lots of love, lots of passion. It's like um, somebody, you guys take a break and then you start back up, but it, it doesn't go anywhere. Yep. Then the page of swords, you stop communicating because it turns into argument. You know, it turns into petty argument and gossip. The lovers here. This is, could be a significant relationship. It could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, you need to realize why you met one another, why you're in each other's lives. The lovers here. Uh, this could be a turning point in a relationship. Um, somebody else also is inquiring about, is there someone else? Because the lovers could be indicative of somebody coming in between an existing relationship. Therefore, the other person is feeling some type of way about the person that they're committed to. The lovers can also talk about someone not choosing the soulmate, twin flame, whatever type of journey here. Um, therefore, it's having long lasting implications, ramifications, consequence. You know, you can't stop thinking about this person. You spy on this person. When you had the opportunity to choose the, the path, you didn't choose it. And now you can't get over this person. And that is what happens when you don't choose the soulmate, twin flame journey. When you don't choose to sacrifice something, to let something go and go and make the life altering choice. So somebody is, yes, it could be you cancer, two of cups at the bottom of the deck, first deacon cancer. So early June, uh, like June to, like, to July 1st, or something like that. Don't quote me, go look it up. So two of cups, you could want to reconcile. You just want to let bygones be bygones. You don't want to talk about the details of the situation. You really don't want to reconcile. You just want to come back together because true reconciliation is confessing your shortcomings to one another. It offers for humility. For me to tell you what really, um, what I'm really struggling with in this relationship, what I really did, what I really didn't do, oh, that causes for, you know, real reconciliation. You have to tell me and I have to tell you, you know? And we really don't do that when we reconcile. We just come back together, hop in a sack, and then we say we're reconciled, but you, you're not. So it looks like somebody just wants bygones to be bygones, come back together, I just want you back. It is what it is. 
you know, I want the union, I miss the friendship, I miss the camaraderie, I miss the love, I miss the sex, I miss the this. But I don't really want to work on the relationship and we really don't want the same thing. But I know you're a catch. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles, so I don't want to let it go. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Is, is there somebody who just won't let you go even though they know they can't be what you need them to be? Or is this you? Um, get your own personal reading at the website level. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at um, checkout. Um, if you're a business minded individual and you want to start business or further your business, get around business people like yourself and join the KTMG monthly conference call. Keep the momentum going monthly conference call. Um, we hold it every month and uh, I provide uh, valuable business uh, methods, information. Um, you get around other people who you can pick their brains. It's just a place to be if you want to further yourself in business. Okay. So take advantage of that. There's a wait list now. Get on the wait list. Get on the wait list. Get on the wait list. Um, I want to shout out to some uh, places where I have high viewership and that's New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, Philadelphia, Houston, uh, uh London, Florida. Okay. So thank you guys for, uh, taking the time out to you know listen to these readings i hope that it's blessing you in some type of way let me know how it's blessing you let me know what changes you are making instituted in your life let me know that you're just not coming back for the tea every week they make some changes though come for the tea but make a change all right and if you feel like you took something from the reading you can always give back by buying me a coffee the link is below if you're feeling moved to do so i do like coffee go ahead buy me a coffee i will accept it <laughs> All right, so catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Take care, Cancer. Many blessings to you.